Hi, I'm Robin Bensley. Welcome to Chow Time. I have been reminiscing about our trips to Portugal. It's one of my husband's and my favorite destinations. It's also a beautiful day for grilling, so I thought I'd grill up some chicken Portuguese style. start with a cup of tawny pork. Pour that in the bowl along with a quarter of a cup of olive oil, two tablespoons of vinegar. This happens to be white balsamic but you could use um, white wine vinegar, you can use any kind of vinegar you like, as long as it's light. And lots of garlic. I've got six cloves, so we're going to smash them all like that. I never use those garlic presses, you know, they're just, because I, I hate cleaning them. <laughs> this is much easier. Now we'll chop these up finely. Okay, we'll add that to the port wine mixture. Then a little bit of seasoning. One teaspoon of salt and one tablespoon of ground cumin. They use this in so much Portuguese cooking and I love the flavor. So a good tablespoon. Whisk that all together. And now I've got eight chicken thighs that I'm going to uh, pour the marinade over. I use chicken thighs because it's dark meat. It's kind of hearty, so it holds up well to the port wine. And you don't need a ton of this because I'm not making a sauce out of it. I'm just marinating it. So we are going to pour that all over those thighs. Cover it, and stick this in the refrigerator for a couple of hours. Let's get these babies on the grill. And all this wonderful marinade with the garlic and the port wine, I'm just going to drizzle a little bit on the top. It's been about five minutes, so I want to flip them. Here's a little trick I do. I dip the other side back in the marinade and then just put it like that. Now, they've been cooking for about 10 minutes on a medium grill, and based on your grill, I want to turn it one more time. And I think it's chow time. There we go. Now, whenever you walk into a restaurant in Portugal, you're immediately handed a bowl of olives. And so I've chopped up some olives and I'm gonna sprinkle them on top. 
just to make it really Portuguese. The sweet port wine, the savory garlic, the warm cumin, the salty olives on top. It's uh, really a, a fabulous recipe and I just want to go right inside right now and make some reservations to fly to Portugal. Thank you.